Okay, the all four vanish approach I put together. Uh, quite a few people told me they wanted to see a clean vanish, uh, a real vanish for the last ace. And uh, this handling uh, accomplishes that neat neatly. I kind of like it. And it also, this handling really enhances the whole sucker effect at it from several approach, uh, several angles. So you get full advantage of the, the sucker bit at the end. Uh, so, uh, so again, you also simplify the front end. You know, why not? You don't have to do any fancy switches for layman. Just keep it simple. So, uh, uh, again, you start out with, I'm going to show you a trick with eight cards, four of which are uh, black spot cards. In fact, I think they're all club cards. Got the eight of clubs, five, seven, and nine. Now, in addition to the, uh, to the club cards, I'm also going to uh, use the four aces. I have the four aces here. And uh, should be straightforward. What's going on? That's all we're going to use, the aces and the club cards, all right? We'll get rid of the deck. Okay. Now, this fun little thing to start out with the, uh, the aces. And this is where it's really fun. This freaked me out the first time I saw it. You just wave your hand over it like that. And check it out. One of the aces just vanishes. I'm not kidding you. That baby is gone. And uh, first time, as I said, the first time I saw it, it freaked me out. So again, let's take a, what we have left, three aces. Again, just wave our hand over it. Check it out. That one's gone. The, third, the second one's gone. I'm, I'm, I'm not high. They're, they really are. I'm not going to goof around with you. Uh, that leaves us, what, the uh, ace of spades and the ace of clubs. Again, we leave them in plain sight and keep an eye on them. Look, just wave my hand over them, and just like that, they're gone. i got to tell you the truth. Every time I do this trick, people think I'm, you know, hiding these aces in with the club cards. Or they think I'm uh, palming, palming the ace. I think if I did that, you'd spot that, you know, me palming the ace off like that. You'd spot that in a second. That's why I prefer this wave method. It's just, just amazing. So the only way I'm going to convince you that I'm not hiding the, uh, the club cards, the aces in the club cards, is to tell you the truth. I don't even have any club cards. These are the uh, these are the four queens, okay? And you get it, that last vanish really enhances the whole sucker effect, really. And uh, they'll convince that those aces are gone at this point. And now you're set to also do a pretty good cleanup. You can, you know, you're going on to your next trick. Just pick up the deck and uh, you know, you show the four aces, the four queens, excuse me. And you unload right here. You can deal them out or use them for your next trick or uh, uh, go into another trick, put them away. Anyway, you can reproduce the aces if you want. Uh, you know, there's a variety of ways to do that. You know, sleeve aces, uh, slap aces, uh, pull them from your pockets. But I, I, I don't think it's a good idea. I think it's good to just leave that hanging for a while, hanging in the air. The, uh, uh, the, those aces just obliterated, just gone. So anyway, I like this handling. Uh, I'll probably change it again next week. But anyway, that's who we're at right now.